Welcome to the fourth part of the Raptor tutorial series. So I remodeled and textured the character and now it's time to rig. First off, I have to add the bones to the armature. Adding bones is pretty straightforward. Wherever you have a bend or any place that you need to deform, you add bones. When adding bones to joints like knees, elbows and fingers, it's better to draw the bones closer to the edge of the mesh so it has room for a clearer deformation. .l and .r extensions at the end of the name defines the side within the system by default. Now after adding the bones to one side of the mesh, you can select the bones you need to mirror and then symmetrize them. But this can only work if you have named the bones right. After deformation bones, it's time to add some controller bones. Inner schematic bones help you to control the link of bones without having to manually translate each bone in the link. IK is commonly used for limbs such as arms and legs. In this case, I'm using IK to control his tail and his head as well. After setting up the bone constraints, it's time to skin this mesh to the rig. You can either auto weight paint your mesh or you can parent with empty groups and manually weight paint them. I decided to auto weight paint and tweak the weights afterwards. This is so I can have smooth paints and deformations. Then it's time to hide the bones that aren't used for moving into a separate layer. Now I only have the bones that I can move around. Adding custom bone shapes makes it easier for the animator to know which bone is which. So now I'm adding custom bone shapes to the bones. And now this character is ready to animate.
this is the end of the series. Thanks for watching.